Okay, this is simple. Man, I like you, man. I like the teeth that you <laughs> Man! Man! Okay, here's the deal, player. Um, I truly believe we're all racist to a point. And like you say, you got these uh, people who smile in everybody's face and shit and turn around, closet, nigger, faggot, motherfucker. Yeah. I'll put up with that shit. I want you to watch my videos. But I'm going to tell you something right quick, though. I believe there's a little bit of racist in everybody. And I want to tell you why. It's because how we perceive people. She see two people walking down the streets. If someone appears to be a homosexual, say, look at that gay guy. Instead of saying, look at that man, you point out that he's a gay guy. Or look at that black girl. Instead of saying, look at that lady. Look at that black girl. Look at that black lady in a dress. Look at that black lady over there. Look at that black guy and the white girl. So say, look at that couple. We all have been raised like this. We've been treated like this. And as a black person, I don't know how you was raised, but there were some stories going around how white people used to treat black people. And I mean, when you grow up and you hear these stories, you have nothing else but to think. What the hell is going to happen to me? What have you seen in your life? I've seen the Klan march. I'm only 40 years old. I live in California. There you go. There you have it. I have been uh, called a nigger. And I've been uh, disrespected. Uh, me and my wife, we moved into a house a long time ago. And, and, you know, three days after we moved in, get those niggers out of my house. I mean, it's like shit like that. I put up with that shit all my life from white people. And recently, you know, over the last, you know, maybe five or six years, I worked for a Mexican company. But when I worked at the fairgrounds, which you'll hear in the video, I had problems with Mexican people there. Because there was a rumor that I hated Mexican people going around. It wasn't until I took a couple of those haters to the restaurant and fed them. Oh, my God. Boss came out and gave me a hug, told me to go get my, my guys whatever they wanted to eat and da-da-da and, you know, how you doing and you when you're coming back to work and da-da-da-da. It spooked these Mexican people that this Mexican man, highly, highly touted in the community, was going to walk up and hug me, tell me, wash your hands and go fix your boy something to eat. It spooked them. And it spooks white people that I have so many Hispanic friends and it spooks Hispanics that I have so many white friends and it really trips the black people out how many white friends and Hispanic friends that I have it's like damn well, this one person told me oh you're gonna bring a crazy white boy with you when you come see you always got a crazy white boy with you and then um, my other cousin told me oh you're hanging around the Mexicans again see I'm an Osiris type I am the kind of person that would try to unite everybody. But is it possible? No. But at my house, when the, the Mexicans over, that don't like the whites, they cool with white people at my house. When the whites are here, that don't like the Mexicans, they cool. At my house, it's like the United Nations. I have friends of all, all types. And here is the only place I've ever seen rival gang members drink a beer, talk, laugh, and joke. But the week before that, I hate that motherfucker. I don't like none of them. Man, you know I don't like those guys. But here, here there ain't no problem. Inside me, there ain't no problem. The only problem is perception. So is Barack a racist? It doesn't matter. Will we ever get our 40 acres in the mule? Hell no. Are we always going to be resentful? Yeah. Everybody is. Because there's always a little hate right there. Always just a little bit. Oh my God, I hate these people. And it ain't because of the people, it's because the ignorance, the niggers, the ignorance of all races. That was the ultimate word, niggers. Describes an ignorant person. Who are the niggers nowadays? Are they white? Are they black? Are they racist? 
I don't think you're racist. A lot of people think I'm racist. I don't think Barack's racist. I don't think Hillary's racist. I don't think John McCain's racist. The whole process is screwed. Nobody can have a fair shot as long as somebody's looking for dirt. As long as we perpetuate the dirt throwing, it don't matter. Because all they're going to hear is, you saying Barack is a racist? And I just said, Barack is a racist. That's all that will be played back if me and you became famous overnight. They'll be playing, this guy said Barack's a racist and that guy said Barack's a racist. So because these two guys are famous, um, that's it. Barack's a racist. Words no longer have any meaning. Like the word legal. You pointed that out to me. You know, I appreciate that. But listen, man. I like your work. You don't change for nobody. And remember this. Racist or not, we all got a little racist in us. We might try to hide it. We might try to say, oh, no. But like I said, when you're looking down the street, and this is for white people, black people, or whoever watching this video, and you look to somebody, and if the first thought you think of is their color, you're racist. Black man, oh, racist. Oh, that white guy, racist. Because until we stop looking at people as colors, and start looking at them as flesh beings. That's a man. That's a woman. That's a boy. That's a girl. Not black girl, black boy, Chinaman, China girl, or whatever. I don't know what to call them. We were born racist. We were bred racist. Watch Mandingo. Throw yourself in some hot water. Toughen your skin up. We were born racist. There is no freedom in America as long as there's suffering, hunger, debt, and pain. Alright? You've been tubed.